Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay, and welcome to this week's coloring live event. Um, I apologize over on Facebook where we have our first hour. It kicked us off. Usually we can um, say goodbye and kind of do a more smooth transfer from our first hour of this live event over to our second hour which is here but for some reason it just kicked us right off so hopefully everybody can follow us over here to our second hour um, every Wednesday we have our live events first hour is um, on our Facebook page and if you missed that hour don't dismay because it's recorded over there waiting for you so you can go watch it we had a really nice long discussion about um, how I use coloring and art as a therapeutic tool to help me deal with my um, chronic pain and chronic depression um, I know a lot of you have come to coloring and art as a way to help deal with this kind of um, issue in your own life whether it's um, pain or stress anxiety um, depression or difficult things going on in your life um, art can be an awesome tool to help you manage that kind of issue going on in your life um, we also discussed how it's an actual field of study um, that you can go into and become an art therapist um, so if it's something that you feel like is really useful to you but you would like to get even more out of it um, you could actually look up in your local area and see if there is a professional art therapist that you would like to go to and get some professional help from because I am not a professional but what I can share with you is how I use coloring as a therapeutic tool to help me cope with my um, chronic pain and my chronic depression and like I said over on Facebook I've been having a kind of a really rough week um, higher pain than normal and been fighting depression and like I said on Facebook I've been kind of ornery today <laughs> Steve's been kind of avoiding me um, Steve's my husband well let's get you up here oh there hi <laughs> Steve's been kind of avoiding me which he's a wise man because I've been not my normal cheery self because you know when you've been in a lot of pain for several days in a row you can kind of get a little ornery so um, yeah. I told him I didn't really want to do this live event today because I've been kind of ornery and I didn't want to didn't want to do it you know when you're ornery you don't want to do anything so but now that we've been going for about an hour, I've been coloring, I've been talking about um, how coloring helps me, I've been visiting with all of you, I'm feeling so much better. And that's just evidence again how powerful coloring is and how powerful this community is. How grateful I am for you guys because you guys share with us and you are supportive. This is such a supportive community. Um, if you're not part of our Facebook group, you should be because it's so supportive such an awesome group of people everybody is supportive of each other's art but also um, just a group of people who understand I think most of us are here like I said because of um, depression or um, there's usually a reason that brings you to coloring that's been my experience when we get feedback from people via email or through social media it, there's usually a reason that people have come to coloring um, you know, like I said usually depression or difficult things going on in someone's life and so um, when you're here with us you're here among friends people who understand the, the difficulties of life and so um, part of today's event I just would encourage you to share um, it's been a really good conversation to hear how people use coloring um, to uh, relax and to um, deal with hardship and deal with pain and depression and so I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that uh, we got cut off I was in the middle of talking about um, a, a technique I learned in yoga years and years ago in my youth 
So we'll talk a little bit more about that. We're also playing around with the Arteza color pencils. This is the first time I've actually used them. I bought them months ago and I haven't had the time or energy to get into them. So I'm actually coloring with them today. So we'll talk a little bit more about my first impressions of the Arteza color pencils. And we have the free coloring page of the week. Steve, will you share with them while I get a drink of, of Gatorade? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, here we go again. <laughs> it's not just for athletes, it's for the chronically ill. I am going to get <laughs> sponsored. <laughs> it's my life goal. No, it's not. This is really not my life goal. Anyway, I'll drink this. You tell them about the free coloring okay. page. Okay, free coloring page. <laughs> Cute. Let's see, that way. There we go. Jennifer drew it. Come download. You're such... <laughs> <laughs> you can do better than <laughs> you can tell she, we're feeling better we're starting yeah, to get goofy she needed to pick out a page that made her happy so she picked this one out <laughs> and I uh, went out and made it free uh, so we'll have it free for the next week on our website the link is in the description of this video yep. come download it and don't forget if you want to support us you can um, subscribe uh, make sure you hit the bell make sure you hit like and you can also come to our website and become a premium member. It's only $5 to become a premium member. That gives you a membership to our website for an entire month. And you can cancel anytime you want. And during that month, you have access to our entire premium membership library, which gives you like over 400. We need to count again. Yeah. Like so over 450 coloring pages that you can download during that month and color to your heart's content. So anyway. That's the spiel. Let's get back to coloring. Okay. Enjoying these Arteza color pencils. I just put a purple hat on my little gnome. Because what? Every gnome needs a purple hat, Steve. That's right. Every gnome. And Steve's going to watch our comments. And <clears throat> um, as soon as he says hi to all you guys and gets me caught up, I will finish my story about um, yoga. <laughs> the thing I learned most while I took my yoga class in college. Other than... It's a place to take a nap. Did you know yoga class in college is a place to take a nap? That's probably what I would do. <laughs> I don't know, though. If you're doing yoga, like the more advanced stuff, It was like a hard. 6 a.m. yoga class, and she ended it with a meditation oh, every... Yeah. So it's like early in the morning, and you're a college student, and now everyone lay on, the, on your back and get comfortable... And let's do meditation and bam you were asleep <laughs> but no she would dock points if you fell asleep so you were like no don't fall asleep don't do it and if you can hear gentle snoring sounds that would be rose in the background this is rose my little maltese dog if you haven't seen her yet and she's quietly snoring in the background <laughs> so little sweetheart Got uh, lots of nice hellos and Hello lots of everyone. love heading your way and uh, grateful that we're on here. So. Oh, I'm glad. I'm grateful that I didn't, um, I came this close to saying, Steve, let's just cancel it. I'm glad I didn't. That would have been giving up. Okay, I'm going to use the same greens that I put in the grass to put some patches on his hat. Avelia says, yes, I've been wanting to see how the Arteza pencils look on paper. Oh, good. Yeah, I have I bought these so long ago, and I just haven't had the time or energy to pull them out. Let's do one more green over here, <clears throat> maybe. Let's see. I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong. Uh, Sinlix Gmail. My first time at your live event, Aww. I've been binged watched your vids the other day and they were so inspiring. <laughs> Touring is such an escape for me. Well, that is exactly the topic of discussion today. How do you use coloring to escape? Over on Facebook, I talked about how I, I really get in the moment, I, I get comfortable, I drink water. I, I went on a long soliloquy of how I get in the moment to color. Um, so what do you do to get in the moment to color? Do you do, do you have any like routine or do you just sit down and hurry and get going? <laughs> Sometimes I do that too, you know, 
you just got to grab the moment when you can and just start coloring. I grabbed this red because it looks so pretty. Let's see what color it looks like. Navelia says, thank you for not canceling tonight. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I came really close. I was a little worried I would spread my honoriness to all of you, and I didn't want to do that. That would not be good. So all we need to do is spread honoriness across the whole world. <clears throat> uh... Carmine Red and Blood Orange. Those look pretty good together. Sinlake's Gmail also asked, what paper do you recommend we print to on our computer papers? Steve is the printer pro. You oh, better, I don't know about that. You better flip the camera around. I'm going to use these two colors. <clears throat> um, Blood Orange and Carmine Red. And we're going to color these kind of cool stylized flowers with these colors and then I'm going to use those same two colors in the patches of his hat. That way everything is sort of mirroring and good composition and all that good stuff. So yeah. Okay Steve, talk about paper. You're on. Well. Here, put it on your face, your okay, handsome I'm face. Finding the there, you're, link you're here on. I'll put in there. <laughs> You better smile pretty, you're on. You can learn about um, Jennifer's favorite uh, papers for colored pencil, marker, and mixed media. Mm -hmm. I'll put a link here in the <laughs> chat to our uh, paper sampler that we sell. But uh, if you're interested, I can also send you a link on Amazon if you want to buy reams. These are uh, smaller quantities, so if you want to try all three of those papers, that's what that is. Uh, but yeah, she has the paper right, she's coloring on right now because we knew she was going to be doing colored pencil. I printed the coloring page on that and uh, it goes, the, what we sell in our paper sampler should go through most, most home printers. It's a little lighter than what we print in our books, but uh, we do that so that it'll go through the, through the printers. So, Good job. Thanks. <clears throat> We can, can totally tell we're feeling better. Yeah. You guys will have to go watch the very first few <laughs> minutes of Facebook and see how... It took a while to get going. We were like, oh, uh, blah, 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 <clears throat> And then blah, we started blah, talking blah. about chickens. Chickens were the RVs, conversation. <laughs> goats. <laughs> Cheer us up. Uh, that's too bright. Let's go maybe... Uh, is there, I don't like how there's like oranges on all three trays here. I'm, I need, this is in desperate need of reorganizing. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Carolyn asked, how do the Arteza pencils compare to the Prismacolor and the Polychromos as far as lead softness? And do you think they would cause fatigue? Um, they're pretty soft. I've been impressed with their softness so far. Um, they feel wax-based to me, more waxy than oily. Blendability, uh, I don't know, I keep running into this problem where I feel like the layer I'm putting on top is sort of just rolling around. If I was doing a full review, like I used to have the time and energy for, I'm hoping we can get back into that someday. I would do my full tests and we would see how they do. Um, but they definitely feel more like a Prismacolor than they do Polychromos. So that's kind of cool. Um, price wise, I th they're coming in cheaper than the Prismacolors. I don't think you can buy them open stock. I brought in this orange color, Pumpkin to bring in some brightness on the tip of this. <clears throat> MSWSW4Live says, <laughs> I was a mental health counselor before. I learned real quick that everyone talked better if they were coloring or drawing. That's awesome. And I totally agree with that. I, to, uh, so many ways I agree with that. Kenneth says, I get in the moment, do a lot of pointillism. That's cool. Now, I think Amy said something important that uh, you should address. I feel kind of bad that I'm not sick or depressed or anything. It seems like everyone else is. I just get to be the happy supporter. Wow, you feel bad that you're not sick or depressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like we, we're always... 
speak to that. You're well, not no, sick. No, I mean, we, we try to... That's a really it, it's, good... It's a balance on our channel, you know, because yeah. we don't want it to be about being sick, you know? Very true. Um, in fact, it's why we do it, you know, is to, yeah. to get away from that. And so we're, we're always trying to, you know, not bring it up a lot and and uh yet it you know does get brought up because it's just also part of our lives uh but that is one of the things that i think we're kind of worried about is I, you know we don't want people to feel uncomfortable we know that a lot of times uh you know talking about illnesses and depression and all of that can make people feel uncomfortable and we don't we certainly don't want to do that yeah so so please don't feel bad that no. you're not sick or depressed That's I, awesome. honestly i'm really grateful that <clears throat> there are people out there that aren't when I, I like I get in my bubble my house is kind of like my bubble and I'm like sick all the time in this bubble and then I step out of my bubble and I like go to the church or the store and I'm like whoa there are people out there that aren't sick that's so weird like they have the energy to do stuff and I'm I'm so grateful for that because it reminds me that this isn't normal this isn't good I need to do something about it like I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> I need to like keep working hard at it. I need to keep taking the pills. I need to keep t drinking the water, the gallons of water they have me drinking. I need to keep trying and striving. So it's good. Um, I also think that one reason I share my journey is because it can be applied to so many things. It might Your journey might not be health. Your journey could be divorce or it could be mo uh, money problems or it could be hurricane hits your house or it could be I mean like I said everybody has their thing and the, the way I deal with my thing can help you learn how to deal with your thing and so I think it's important that you you acknowledge that you are blessed in the health factor and someday you're, you're going to have your thing. That's what life does. Life gives us all our things. And so someday you'll have your thing and you'll go, oh, maybe I should try coloring. Because that's, uh, you know, I've heard that that will help any thing, you know. <laughs> and so <laughs> so it's, it's great. I think we all come to coloring for different things and might not just be health, you know. I've heard people say, my husband passed away and I was so lonely and sad and um, I had a therapist that recommend I do coloring to help pass the time and so then she found our channel and she wrote us an email to say how much it was a uh, support and help to her to be around us and to um, be in this community and she doesn't have health problems but the fact that coloring um, helped her through the loss of her husband so I've heard lots of stories like that, a loss of a pet. Um, we've heard so many stories of reasons to come to coloring. It doesn't have to be just health issues. Yeah. So um, like Steve said, I want to be careful not to talk too much about my health, but I also want to be totally real with you guys. I don't want you guys to think that Steve and I have like this perfect world where we do <laughs> art all day and we have this perfect marriage where we never fight and Jennifer never gets ornery and Steve has to go hide because if she, he gets too close <laughs> she might snap his head off. <laughs> and I want you guys to know that we are totally normal and we have bad days and good days and so that's I think one reason why I push myself to get on here live even on a bad day. So. Thanks for sharing that comment and letting us have that, that little talk about that. So, yep. <laughs> okay, back to coloring. Okay, I was coloring this. Okay, and I was using that yellow in here. And this bright orange to brighten up the top of this little bulbous part. And the mid-tone orange here. Okay. The other thing I'm grateful for with healthy people is how much they help my kids. <laughs> like, there are things that um, I can't do for my kids that healthy people 
in our neighborhood, in our our um, our religious um, community, in my family, they pick up the slack for me, and I'm so grateful for that. But someday, I'm hoping I will be the healthy person. <laughs> <clears throat> Someday. Samantha says uh, her brother has a heart disorder and he had surgery in February. He's five years old. Whoa. When he went to the hospital, he watched your videos. Oh. <laughs> Please pray for him. Oh, that's so sweet. Little sweetheart. Okay. Roberta says, What? You guys are normal people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're painfully normal. <laughs> Oh, we're also extremely blessed and Steve was talking about that just this morning about um, choosing to stay in a gratitude mindset. Now I'm wondering if you were saying that to me this morning to try to cheer me up and try to get me out of my funk I was that in. That was actually yesterday. Was that yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I needed that lecture this morning too. It wasn't a lecture though. He was just sharing with me some... Oh, Rachel wanted to see Rosie again. Oh, she's snoring yeah. so loud. Here, I'll zoom in Oh, on she's stretching. Oh, is she doing the cute? She, she was doing the cutest stretch. Should we wake her up so she can say hi to everybody? Hi, baby. You want to say hi? Yeah, you're such a sweetheart. She's decided to be a picky eater. Just recently. Yeah. Not sure why. We need to get her into the vet, I think. Is that normal? You guys, I know there's a lot of dog lovers here, a lot of dog people. She's our first dog that we've ever had. We've been married, what? 20 years. 24 years. 24? <clears throat> Holy yep. cow. And she just suddenly decided she wanted to be picky. Yeah. So Steve's been on the hunt for new food, but I think we've decided it's not about new food. It's about she gets bored with her food. So now we're going to try to do add-ins and rotate the add-ins. Because she likes her food and it doesn't upset her tummy or anything. I think she just gets bored really fast. So we're going to try like adding a little peanut butter one day and maybe a little banana the next day and maybe a little yogurt the next day. And Katara says have her teeth checked. We yeah. do need to get her to the vet. I hadn't thought of that. I yeah, wondered about that too actually. I'm glad you suggested that again. We need to get her and our kitty to the vet. It's hard when you're it's hard when you're spending so much time and money on human doctors <laughs> to remember to get the 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 pets to the doctor too. Oh, Roberta says both my husband and I are disabled veterans and some days we are in so much pain it's unreal. With a three, six and fourteen year old we can't always show the pain. Yeah. Oh, I can't imagine having little ones, you know, and, and dealing Ooh. with that, you know, we're... I can't imagine that, too. It's, it's hard. Wow. And thank you so much for your service, and I can't even imagine now with both of you being in that kind of pain and having to take care of little ones like that. You guys are really in the thick of it still battling right a daily battle with your kids i'm sure and they don't understand either the other thing that's hard when you're um chronically ill with children is i'm noticing the kids kind of it becomes their norm and it's hard for me to express to them that this isn't normal you know, like it's not normal to be sick all the time and and it's okay to like have energy and get up and do things all <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's hard. Yeah, you don't want them to You don't want them to to 
to like emulate. Take the, yeah, take it on themselves. You know, like. to emulate your illness, like, like because some days, like I don't get up until like eleven, and then it can be a couple hours before I'm like moving through the house and doing things and like being productive because it's just that hard to get up and move, and so I don't want the kids to feel like that's normal and okay to like your day doesn't really start to like one in the afternoon yeah so how do you you know i mean we're still working it, it's fine but i want to be able to teach them without you know the whole do as i say not as i do that's yeah that's tricky. which doesn't work real well with teenagers no <laughs> <laughs> no but it's life it's not bad for them to see that either, though. Yeah. It's good for them to watch and see. It's all good. It's life. It's just life. Yep. It's just life. Um, we're getting really deep and philosophical today, man. Yes, we are. I guess that's what we get for picking <clears throat> this subject. Okay, I'm using the same oranges, the two lighter tones and the two darker tones to build the cute little patches on his hat. Loving that look. Kind of keeping it loose and looking sort of um, worn out. My grandma Jensen used to make, my maiden name is Jensen. And um, she used to make us quilts made from fabrics that you know like um, an old dress or like my mom would sew and so any spare fabric she would give to my grandma and then make us a quilt and so you'd have this quilt with um, a square or two from a dress that you would wear and that was so fun so I'm trying to make his hat look like maybe they were patches pulled from um, someone's dress or so uh, Tammy Sifford is on oh hi Tammy and, uh, it uh, it got blazing hot up in the Seattle area today 80 <laughs> <laughs> she says she says it hit 80 today uh, ready for the fall <laughs> and I, of course I know it's relative but uh, well it makes and me it's laugh. also um, more humid yeah, true. So her her eighty might feel warmer than our. But it's like, oh, eighty sounds so nice when you're dealing with a hundred, and then of course <laughs> really you know, nice. it's, my sister, a hundred would sound nice because she lives in the Phoenix area, and when um, it's a hundred and fifteen. So. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's got their thing. Look how cute his hat's turning out. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to. Melissa says, "I love the hat. It's adorable." Oh, thanks. Let's do his pacifier. Do you guys call them pacifiers? We called, when our babies had them, we called them binkies. Yeah, binky. I've heard them called passies. I'm going to keep it pretty bright yellow with just a hint of orange under for the shadow. Make it simple. And move on, right? I want to finish up this um, part of the the flower. We used very yellow greens for these parts of the flower. So I'm going to grab an even yellower green uh, if I can find one. Let's see if that one works. Where's my swatch paper? Oh, well that's pretty pretty light. Maybe we can make it work. Cynthia says, I love the way you repeat the same colors in different parts of the image like this hat to give cohesiveness to the overall drawing. Picking colors is a challenge for us newbies. It can be really tricky, uh, frustrating process picking colors. Uh, I've got some awesome tools for you to help you pick colors. So um, let's <clears throat> see, where would you tell them to go to find those tools, Steve? Um, is there on our web page we have a link at the top that says tools okay you can click on that and it'll just show you all the tools we have there's um, color wheels 
and if you're like me when I started coloring I was pretty nervous about color wheels um, my color wheels are a little different and they should help you out I've also got some videos here on YouTube on how to use my color wheels look how gray that green went this, ever so often I'm running into a color that is a little odd just a wee bit odd I don't know what's going on I'm really anxious to swatch everything in the Arteza line here this makes me want to do the full review Steve because something odd is happening here and I can't quite my, put my finger on it huh. Rachel and Kenna said binky Bing. Alicia said Alicia uh, Alicia, Alicia, uh, in England we call them dummies. Oh, yeah, I've heard that yeah. on um, Doctor Who. Oh. Uh, in Puerto Rico, Roberta de Puerto Rico says we <laughs> call them bobos. Bobos, I like that. That's now I wish cute. we had, oh, maybe when we have a grandbaby we can call him a bobo. Oh, that's cute. Bobo. Bobo. I like that. <laughs> Okay. I haven't heard that one. No, me neither. I like that one a lot. Polly says I call it a plug. A <laughs> we, plug, we've done yeah. That before too. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah. Especially in church, you need the plug in church, right? Or when you're trying to get your shopping done at Walmart or at Michaels, and you just need him to be quiet for just two more minutes while you're checking out or picking your final item at Michaels. Put Let's in see. Jane says Southers, Soothers. Oh, oh probably Soothers. Soothers, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then to Stan, Binkies, Suckies. Uh huh. Amy says Doctor Who teaches us so much. Yes. <laughs> We're such nerds. Our I wonder nerds if that was the really... one with uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, he has his own show now. He sings. He's really funny. He was, yeah, when he has his baby. <laughs> what was the baby's name? The baby's name, name was... Amy, you'll have to tell us. Yeah. Help us remember. Anyway, that was an awesome our, episode. Our nerdiness is really showing in this live event. Yes. Okay, I got that one built. Although that green, I don't know if you can see. Maybe if I bring it up. Maybe <laughs> you can see that that green was doing something weird. This is kind of that floating thing I was talking about how that second layer doesn't doesn't play well with the first layer something weird's going on how, who else has Arteza? have you guys had blending issues or is it just me yes james corden thank you mary that was such a good episode. baby stormageddon that's, that's right, right. now <laughs> yes. i want to watch that episode i love that that was so good natalia so. says we called them Gigi's or Gigi's or Gigi's? Oh. Maybe Gigi's. What is it spelt? G I G I? G E E G E. Oh. Emily G -G. says her daughter called hers Dee Dee. Oh. Okay, we're coming in with that weird. Let's see if I can make this, this um, pencil behave better this time. Let's see if it was just me. Amy says, yeah, it looks kind of muddy. Yeah. And it shouldn't be because we're doing a yellow green to a yellow. These should go together like, what's a good cliche, Steve? Two things that go together, peanut butter and jelly. Like chocolate and peanut butter. I don't know why I'm putting on a weird accent now. It's because I'm feeling better. You guys have cheered me up. This coloring has relaxed me. My hand is actually feeling better. Well, nice. Although my shoulder isn't, because I keep I keep doing this. Do you guys do this when you're coloring? I was going to tell you about yoga. There, that's better. <laughs> I look much more attractive too when I lower my shoulder. See, it's better. Okay, back to coloring. I was going to tell you about yoga. In yoga, when they were teaching us how to meditate, they said when you have a thought come to your mind when you're trying to clear your mind you know how they always say clear your mind of all your thoughts which is absolutely impossible I don't think anyone could do that <laughs> <laughs> at least I I'm not that controlled right 
So she said, when a thought comes to your mind, you're supposed to acknowledge the thought and say, like, basically, hello to the thought, and then dismiss it, move it on, and try to keep that clear mind state. So when I'm coloring for therapeutic purposes, to keep my mind off pain or stressful things, depression, anxiety, hard things going on, blah, 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 I do that practice as well. If something comes into my mind, especially if it's something I can't control, um, there's nothing I can do about it right now, so I try to think of it and I try to dismiss the thought, like acknowledge it, it's there, but then say to myself, can I do anything about it? No, right now is coloring time, let it go. Sometimes I have to do that several times, but it's very therapeutic, it also helps me to to acknowledge what is bugging me, what's on my mind so much. And I find that it becomes a time for me to like, man, that keeps popping in my mind. I can't let that go. That keeps coming back. Um, I'm really worrying about um, our car payment or I'm really worrying about um, whether I've got that prescription filled or not, or whatever it happens to be. I'm really worrying about my kid and whether he did his homework or not, or whatever it is, right? So sometimes that, if it won't let go, I'll, I'll sit down and I'll write it down. I have a notebook where I write down things like that that are on my mind. In fact, I call those lists on my mind. I think I've talked about that before. And I think that's where that idea came from, was that yoga practice. And then sometimes I can let it go. Once I've acknowledged that that thing has been bugging me and it's been on my mind, I can let it go. So you could try that too, as a way to um, practice meditation during coloring. Lily's saying, let it go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sometimes it's really hard and if you acknowledge that that thing is really weighing on you and then write it down on that on my mind list, then you can stop letting it be on your mind because it's on the list now. If you need to go back and say, what was it that was bugging me? It's there, it's on the list. Let the list hold it for you. Cynthia and Polly both like your uh Nails, by the way. Thank you. I, did you see them, Steve? Yeah, they're cool. Those are really cool. I like how this one has silver on the tip, and then this one has silver down by the cuticle? Cuticle. And then this had blues, and then... Anyway, ah, I really liked them. Okay. Kaylee um, would like to know what your favorite gel pen color is. Oh, those sparkle pops. <laughs> I had to make a list the other day. It was kind of like an on my mind list. I wasn't looking forward to making the list, so I pulled out my sparkle pops to make the list. And it was so much fun to make that list. With the sparkle <laughs> With pops. With the sparkle <laughs> pops. They were just so happy and I think I love every color in those sparkle pops. Gil says, Thank you for helping me relax. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Okay, so we used really yellow greens for <clears> this <throat> flower. Will you zoom out just a tiny bit so they can see how we're doing? I feel like we're in a little bit close. So now I want to kind of, since we have purple, which is in the blue family, right? I want to do some bluish greens for this greenery back here. Um, just to give some cohesion. And we found some in this emerald right here. And then if we can find a light to go with it, which is why this, this whole organizing thing is perplexing to me, why they did this. I'd like to know if there was some rhyme or reason here. Why, Steve, why? I'm starting to crack more jokes. I must be feeling better. Don't like that. Um, Carolee says, I use sticky notes, look at them when I'm ready, and then wad it up and throw it away. Ah, that helps to let it go. Smart. 
there's something very helpful about writing that thing down so you don't have to keep I don't know if you guys are like me do you just like if I don't keep dwelling on it I might forget that I have to worry about that do you guys do that so if I write it down on the on my mind list then I can let it go I'm trying to find a light blue green that I like with this one I might have to change my dark because I'm liking that that's pretty blue maybe this one eh. Kaylee's wondering what that character is in your picture do you want to tell her about him? A gnome. <laughs> Scandinavian gnome. I kind of have a, a thing baby. for Scandinavian gnomes, don't I? <laughs> Katrina asked, what kind of pencils are you using? Arteza. Oh, the Artezas today. That pencil and this pencil would go really good together. Oh, those are pretty. They're not right, but they're pretty. I want to put them together. We're going to put them over here. <laughs> We're finding all the right pairs for other things. Oh, okay. Now that's an interesting green. It has more... It's, is that the same as the one up above, though? Well, I'm kind of making a mess here. That one's going to too much of a yellow. I'm trying to stay in a blue. I need that really weird blue green that they have in the 24 Prismacolor set. The stand says I do a thing called capturing my thoughts. Those unwanted are immediately discarded. Oh, that's a cool idea. The stand, are we pronouncing your name correctly? Mm. Never feel bad, by the way, if you guys correct us on how to pronounce things. How Those to pronounce two your names. are closer, but they are far apart. So this is going to be an adventure. I don't want to pick colors anymore. That's frustrating me, and we're supposed to be zenning out. So this is our best bet at a bluish green color. Okay, we can zoom back down now that we've picked colors, Steve. Okay, I wanted the blue tone greens so that um, this leaf would um, stand out from this other leaf. And then we need to find another place to use it in our picture to keep the cohesiveness going that we've got going here. <clears throat> Max, aka the Disco Panda. <laughs> Have you ever tried Adobe Illustrator on the iPad Pro, Jen? Have I? Yeah. Um, yeah, you've... Uh, on the iPad? Isn't it, uh, yeah, Adobe Sketch? Is that... Um, Is it the same? I don't remember if uh, that's the Illustrator version on the iPad. But yeah, you've tried it before. Um, but for the type of coloring you do. The type of drawing? Yeah, the type of drawing, I mean. I remember it uh, didn't work quite as, because it's all vector. Oh, that's right. I really like Procreate. That's my app of choice. I've played around with maybe two other apps. And I keep going back to Procreate, partly because of the learning curve to go into a new app it is so steep. And I've gotten so comfortable with Procreate, and Procreate such a powerful little app, and um, they keep coming out with better updates. Um, so I feel like it's worth my time to stick with Procreate and keep learning. If, if Procreate wasn't having more um, updates, maybe I would reach out to another app, but because the makers of Procreate keep upping their game, I feel like it's worth sticking with them. Well, he says he uses it for his illustrations a lot. I do hate that Procreate does not help you draw a circle or a square there's no help no aids in that and so I've wondered about illustrator for that purpose um, there's another app 
that some illustrators use and they prefer it over Procreate because of that. Procreate doesn't do text and Procreate doesn't help you draw a circle or a square. You have to do workarounds, although they do have that new grid they just released. Wow, we're getting techie now. Uh -huh. They have drawing guides now in Procreate to help you draw squares, which I love. Loving this green. These two are working well together. This is spring green and fern. It was really hard to find these two greens. <laughs> it was more difficult than it needed to be. I need to reorganize my whole set. <clears throat> Max uses a combination of Procreate and Illustrator. Ah. I use Procreate for detailed brushwork and Illustrator for self shading and simpler work. Um, <laughs> that's really interesting. Maybe I need to revisit Procreate. I mean, Illustrator. Illustrator. <clears throat> I haven't been in Illustrator for a while. I wonder if there's been any updates that would make me feel more at home in there. I love Procreate. They, their newest. I've been playing around with um, coloring gems in there to up my um, digital painting game. And I'm loving it. Nancy asked what greens you chose. I ended up picking fern and spring green for these ones. And then these ones were moss, pear, and yellow sapphire. Is it just me? Or are the greens difficult to pick from? <laughs> it's probably just me. And the fact that I haven't reorganized my greens, my the colors. I'd like to know, maybe when we contact Arteza, we should ask them why the pencils were organized the way they were. Samantha asked, how come when I color, I take forever, but when you color, you're so fast at it, even when I use markers, it takes forever. <laughs> um, probably practice. Um, I'm not, if we zoomed in, maybe if I bring it up. Well, and I think that's the point you made a little bit earlier, like, because you're doing it more as like a, a therapeutic practice, you're not so concerned about like burnishing and yep. blending. And There's lots of white showing through. So I'm you're not moving pretty quickly over it. Yeah, I'm not being really super picky here. Like even my shading isn't the way I would normally shade like if I was being picky this is not the way I would shade like for instance I'm not really going to shade the fact that this um, stock would you call it a stock this flower stock is going over this leaf here so on a good day when I feel good I would shade this so that it would look like it was casting a shadow onto this leaf here today I'm not going to worry about that because I'm coloring to relax and to not think about all the stresses and things that are upsetting me and that I've had such a bad week. Um, and normally I would maybe get out a blending agent like um, Gamzol or um, even just some Vaseline or you know petroleum jelly or something like that and use it to help me blend things in and get you know, normally that's the kind of thing I would do. But today, it's all about laying color down, thinking about the blending, thinking about how pretty this green is looking with the yellowy green underneath it and how unexpected that is. And thinking about the little gnome guy and how fun it would be to sit with him right there. And that's the kind of thing I do when I'm coloring for therapy or for relaxation. Because this isn't for anybody. This isn't a gift or anything I have to show, except that hundreds of people are looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for me to not think about pain and frustration. 
right? So Erica sounds like she really likes Copics. She's asking what type of Copic markers you use and if you have a favorite. Oh, um, I have a video out that you could go check out. It's I think it was a something about Caliart versus Copic and which one like is it worth buying a Copics? I don't have a lot of Copics. I think I have six of the Chows and I have a small set of 12 Copic um, sketch markers. That's all I've invested in so far. Um, I love their brush tips. And, and the, the Chows and the sketch both have the same nibs on both ends. And I love the Copic um, brush nib. If I had all the money in the world, I would buy all of the Copic sketch markers just because I love those nibs so much and I love having lots of colors to choose from. And like we've joked about before, I suffer from something called, are you ready to tell them what I suffer from, Steve? Yes. Okay, tell them what I suffer from. <sighs> Is this a public service announcement? This is a public service announcement. For those who suffer from FSS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, FSS. Full set syndrome. Yes, I suffer from full set syndrome. <laughs> At least you can admit it. Yes. That's the first step. <laughs> I would love to have the full set of every kind of coloring tool, especially like Copics and that kind of thing. I would love yeah. that. Um, so... I love them. I think the Copic Chows are amazing because they're uh, more budget friendly and you get the same experience with the really awesome nib. But um, yeah, they're just so pricey. Yeah. So it's an investment. That's, that's sure. why I did that one video where I talk about Cali Arts versus Copics to kind of talk about why you might want to buy Copics because there are reasons to buy a Copic. Um, and why you might want to buy a more budget-friendly type alcohol marker like a Kelly Art. So if you're curious, go check it out. Because um, I love alcohol markers. That's another really fun way to color is I could have laid down Copic or any kind of alcohol marker first and then come in with um, the color pencil on top. In fact, I think I'm going to use this green. I was just talking about how I wanted to use the same green somewhere else in the page. I think I'm going to use them in two places. One right here. Whoops. Tweety says, this has been an awesome, ti awesome time tonight and very helpful. I've enjoyed the two hours. Thanks for being honest um, with us. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad it was helpful. And Erica asked if you've tried linseed oil with pencils. It makes a cool effect. I bet it's cool. Um, any kind of oil would have a very similar effect as like a petroleum jelly um, blending. I've never tried specifically linseed oil. I've tried baby oil, which I couldn't tolerate because the smell of baby oil is so strong. But I'll bet it's the same type of effect. You'll have to let me know if you've tried petroleum jelly and if it gave you the same effect I would be really curious okay we're gonna use the same bluey greens on the back of our turtle Gail says I stress over choosing colors I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> two words of advice one um, go check out our coloring tools and I have a lot of videos here on my channel to help you use those coloring tools and just to give you just good general advice on picking colors. Um, it really is hard. Like, yeah, when Steve first. had his coloring experience a couple months ago, uh, Father's Day, he did a coloring, if you, if you want to watch that and see his first coloring experience, he did it for Father's <laughs> Day. It was awesome. We need to have you do it again. Um, so yeah, check that out. Check I feel out your pain. Tools. <laughs> he used the color wheel though that my color wheel tools did it help oh yeah yeah made yeah. it a lot faster otherwise uh, i don't know what i do mm -hmm. especially if you have a big set you know it's just like there's so many shades of colors and it's like yeah. what am i gonna choose so yeah second word of advice color with some kids um 
and I'm serious about this, I color with my nieces and nephews all the time and it's so refreshing and so freeing to just put out a whole bunch of pencils like this in front of them and watch them just pick a color. They yeah, don't. They just grab one. They, they <laughs> don't, don't think care. About it. <laughs> they don't like. Is this the proper blue tone green or the yeah. yellow? They don't care, and they just they they just have fun, and they just like oh look at this and da -da 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 -da, and all of a sudden their page is done and they didn't stress about it and mm -hmm. it's a good experience. So color with some kids. Go walk up to some kids and say hey. <laughs> I want to color with you. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I'm sure there's a neighbor that has a stressed out mom somewhere that needs a break. <laughs> and you can say, let me color with your kids for an hour and give you a break. And, yeah. and she'll appreciate it. And you'll learn a lot about that. It really, really, really doesn't matter in the end which green you pick. And, and just enjoy the process of picking colors and, and if you want to learn some color theory and get you know into it and really learn you know how to balance colors and composition and all that you can but in the end it's just a coloring page and if it's stressing you out let it go let it go <laughs> wow we're really in a different mood than we yeah. were two hours ago yeah speaking of that it is eight o'clock so I think I'll finish the turtle's back because we started the turtle. Okay. And he's so cute. So let's finish the turtle and answer any last minute questions. And then we'll be signing off until next Wednesday. And I want you guys to talk Steve into coloring next week. Because <laughs> he keeps saying, I keep saying, you want to color this week? And he says, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I need you guys to help me talk him into coloring. Ha <laughs> ha. So I'm going to color the turtle while you guys talk to Steve about how important it is to him, to his livelihood, is his life, that he color for you guys next week. <laughs> Patty Steve. says, I still think an elephant has to be gray, a turtle green, etc. Yeah. So I want to get over that. Yeah, see, look at me coloring this turtle green. Now, it's really, really a good thing. Color with some kids. The Disco Panda says, we use coloring in my special education program to cope with stress and just for fun. That's awesome. And Roberta says, I ask my six-year-old all the time to pick my colors. It helps. Yeah, and I bet she does a great job. Or he, sorry. I bet your six-year-old does a really good job. Kids have a really good eye for color, and they're not all caught up in all of whatever it is we've done to ourselves <laughs> with color. All I'm doing here is shading the bottom half of each little section here. Just loosely. I'm not being picky here today. Yes, a lot of people saying they also suffer from FSS. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. It's like this itch inside. You just have to have the full set. You can't, you, you can't use the tool yet until you've got the full set, right? Yolanda says, do you ever start a page and then go wrong medium choice, wrong colors, wrong feeling, etc.? She's doing a page right now where it's the wrong media. I just want to finish the page and go to the next one. Um, if you're that frustrated, there's nothing wrong with abandoning a page. Um, I, you know, I always say there's no mistakes in coloring, but coloring is supposed to give you joy and make you feel this, that you know, satisfy that creative need in you. And if it's making you feel upset and frustrated and, and you just, you're done, then be done, move on. Give yourself permission to start again. Um, but yeah, there are times when I'm just like, this is not working out. Although, Oftentimes, when I get into that position, if I push through and keep working with it, sometimes those are the best pages when they're done. Not always. <laughs> but sometimes I learn the most and I'm like, wow, that turned out so amazing. I'm so glad I pushed through. So it's up to you, though. It's your coloring page. No one will know. I grabbed that yellowy green trio to do his head. 
again to just same balance as we did up here with the greenery a bluish green and a yellowy green I'm doing that same balance into the um, turtle just to give some more cohesion and good um, what is it when it's dynamically balanced um, uh, yeah you know that arty term that I can't think of when you have the right layout of your page I think composition composition <laughs> thank you Steve Little Rose just reorganized herself is there any last minute questions I can answer before we sign off all I have left to color is the um, the cute little mushrooms on here and to be honest I may not ever finish this coloring page it's kind of already fulfilled its purpose for me the coloring therapy purpose um, like I said you don't have to finish a coloring page there's no one that says you have to finish something for me sometimes just doing this much of a page fulfills that need in me so it may never go beyond this I'm quite proud of how it turned out I learned stuff and it it did its job for me it um, lifted my spirits I feel better Steve feels better um, it's it's served its purpose so it may never get finished and I'm okay with that <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. Are you guys able to walk away from a half-finished coloring page and feel good about it? That's an interesting question. We've never talked about that before. Oh, yeah, that is a good question. Yeah. I'm asking a very deep question, and we're about to sign off. <laughs> so that's the question. After we sign off, um, I'd like you to come back and comment below. Are you able... To walk, would you be able to walk away from a page like this and be happy? Because I think I'm happy with this page. I'm going to date it and everything. I think it's the 8th, right? August 8th. I date all my coloring pages. And I'm going to put Arteza underneath it. Because it was the first time I used the Artezas. Is there any last minute questions I can answer, Steve? No, just lots of people asking me to color now and uh morticia <laughs> says i can't force you living in sweden experience traveling <laughs> but i hope you'll do it okay what and, do you think uh, steve katara let's see i just put katara. you on camera just so you know started a hashtag steve hashtag steve must color <laughs> <laughs> so are you are you willing to commit to all of us to color next wednesday that would be August 15th. Uh-oh. Yeah. Will you commit to coloring <laughs> August 15th for all of us? No pressure. Sure. <laughs> Yay! So you have a whole week to think about what you want to do. Okay. You can pick. Um, we're, we're not going to pressure you to pick the art medium or the page. You know, I'm the one that I always gets to I think I already know what pick. I'm going to try. Oh, do you want to commit to it, or do you want to keep it a secret? Well, it doesn't have to be a secret, I guess. You're, you're I think bad. I want to try the alcohol markers. This will be his first time coloring with alcohol markers, so if you're scared of alcohol markers or would like to watch a noob color with alcohol markers, which brand do you want to... Are you brave enough? Oh, yeah, i got to try Copics. I don't think and then maybe your Blick. Probably your Blick, because they have a the good Blicks. choice there. Yeah, we've got the full set of Blicks here. Yeah. We've got the Cope, the Cali Arts up there. Yeah. Ooh, so many choices. So you're going to need to pick out a coloring, a coloring page, page so that they can all have a free download. And okay. Okay, so you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Next week, Steve will be taking this seat right here. And he will be coloring with alcohol markers for the first time. <laughs> the stand says, suddenly, August 15th, Steve is sick. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that will be um, the way we celebrate your birthday. Yeah, close to it, huh? August 19th is Steve's birthday. 
happy birthday to you. You get to color yeah, <laughs> in great. front of everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> yay. Thanks for helping me talk them into coloring next week. So make sure you're here. Remember, the first hour, 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight team Time, will be over on Facebook. The second hour here, 7 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, will be here with you guys on YouTube. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for helping cheer me up. The uh, last thank you. Half we both our, needed it. So. The last part of our day is going to be much more cheerful. So thank you for that. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next week where Steve will be here in this chair. <laughs> thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Bye -bye.